Hello everyone and welcome back. After that snowstorm, last night it got down to 26 below zero Fahrenheit here. Up at the tent, it got, well, it said on the TV that it was 38 or 39 below zero, so it could have hit even 40 below up there last night. And now with all the crap that's happening, on the other side of the world, I think I've, I've just decided I'm going to, since I used so much gas in the tractor the last couple of days, I'm going to go ahead and put 10 gallons in here and then I want to go up and get my truck filled up with diesel, both of them. Because you know that fuel is going to go up now and I want to uh, fill up these two cans again. Saturday here is supposed to be 30 degrees. This oil is really cold coming out. I came out yesterday and spent another hour with the four-wheeler and really got everything cleaned up nice here. Got some big piles of snow now, but uh, and the driveway has gotten a little bit narrower. But spring should be here pretty soon, I hope. Two degrees above zero right now, but that sun on your face, you can feel the heat. Feels really good. I'm gonna run up and get this one filled up first and get those two gas cans filled. And then I'll check and see how the roads are. I don't know with the sun, they might be getting really wet, which would mean a lot of salt getting on the new truck. But if it's not, I'll drive that up here later too. I'm just going to wait with filling that one up. The roads are still kind of a mess, salty, wet. Good morning, everybody. It got down to 21.8 degrees below zero Fahrenheit last night. Tomorrow it's supposed to get up to 30. I'm heading into Melissa's work right now because uh, it's been a week since she was there and I need to water her plants.
my dad's coming up tomorrow to use the workshop, so thought I'd bring another load of wood here. I'm just gonna let it sit just like this. I already have some in the workshop. We're just getting low. And then I'm gonna wanna start the stove tonight because it's much easier to heat it up from five o'clock in the morning to when he shows up at about nine if it's already, you know, 40 or 50 degrees in there in the morning. And it's already a quarter after five right now, so if I start it up and then run like three loads of wood in it tonight, it'll be 40 to 50 in here in the morning still. I think I better clean it out some more. I had it going for a while yesterday. There's still some hot coals in here. I'll just take some of this out and leave the center real hot ones in there. Good morning, everybody. It got down to three below zero last night Fahrenheit. That's not too bad. Sun is out this morning. They're still saying 30 degrees, but it's supposed to be windy. But I'll take it over 20 below. I came out and filled up the stove early today. My dad should be up here probably about a half hour to use the workshop. person yep. could have got a couple of them, but I would have almost had to do that on the bandsaw. Yep. You know, and it's kind of a challenge when you've got a round oh, piece yeah. of wood trying to go through the planer. Yeah, so I had yeah, to cut yeah, some yeah, of it on the saw yeah. to get it through. My dad just left, heading for home. Got quite a ways on his table. I actually came out and did some work on a side shelf for the smoker today. 
And usually if he's out here, I won't be out here all that much because we end up talking so much that nothing gets done. <laughs> but today we seem to get a lot of talking done and I got a lot of stuff done, which was nice. Today down in Louisiana, Melissa had the grandkids stay overnight last night at the house after they went out to eat and everything. And then today they, she took them to a movie and that started at like 12.35 and now it's, I don't know, 4.30 in the afternoon. I haven't heard anything from her. So I think from there she was going over to her daughter's house to drop the kids off. That girl's been keeping busy the whole time she's been away. Good morning, everybody. Zachary and I want to go ice fishing this week. He's got some time off of work. And I'm going to go up and check another lake to see if we can get out on it. So this morning I grabbed Joni and we are out to look at another lake. Looks like this one had roads plowed out at one time, but they're all drifted over now. Somebody tried to get out there, made it about 100 feet. <laughs> I can see people fishing way over there, like out in the middle. No fish house, just must be sitting on a bucket. Well, there's a little lake on the south side of this lake, so I'm going to drive over and look at that one. I, I don't think that one has any public access. I think to get to that you have to go through this lake, but it's on the way home, so let's go take a look. I'm gonna go into the store. You be good. Don't eat anybody. I'm just about done cooking up lunch. The two lakes that I went and looked at, uh, you know, neither of them you could drive off. There was no way to even get onto that smaller one, like I thought. And so the only way I see for Zach and I to go this week is you either we walk out pulling a sled or I load the snowmobile up and go. And I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. So I guess I'll talk to Zachary and we'll figure out what we're going to do. I just cooked up some cheap chuck steaks, which aren't cheap anymore, but they're still cheaper than ribeyes and stuff and then in the reduced bin they had some of these wild rice stuffed mushrooms that looks pretty good
I try, that thing does not go good in this kind of snow. I mean, it's knee deep and it's real powdery underneath, so it just sinks. I tried pinning it going across here and that just sunk it. Going a little bit slower, it still sinks it. I'm just gonna drag it out.
I think I might eventually need one of them snowmobiles with the longer track. I can't imagine getting stuck like that halfway across the lake going to or from the tent. What do you do? Can't drive anything out there to get it out, except for if you get a hold of somebody with some snowmobiles to help. <laughs> I don't know, I think I might be snowshoeing it into the winter trip this year. Although a lot of times the, the snow on top of the lake is pretty hard, but they've got a lot of snow up there this year. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. I really don't know where this one started, where it ended. Everything is off for me because Melissa isn't here. Tonight I got things cleaned up, litter box is done, all the stuff that we usually do together. Tomorrow my dad is coming up here to use the workshop again. Uh, Zach and I are going ice fishing on Wednesday. We picked a spot, so that's going to be pretty fun. Melissa should be back one week from today. And right after that, it's time to do the winter trip. I will see you guys on the next video.